I first saw Stanley Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey on May the 1st, 1968, at its Australian premiere at the Long Gone Plaza Cinema in Sydney, which was then the home of Cinerama releases. It had been a four-year wait since the release of Kubrick's previous film, Dr. Strangelove, and the advance word on his new sci-fi epic, which had been shrouded in secrecy during production, was just beginning to filter through from America, where it had opened a couple of weeks earlier. The screening was packed with local media. I found myself sitting next to the film critic for the Sydney Morning Herald. One of the stars of the film, Kier Delaire, had flown out for the screening but he didn't have much to say when he introduced it, and indeed he seemed a bit perplexed by it all. When the curtains opened to those prehistoric scenes, there was a palpable gasp from the audience. What on earth did this have to do with the journey into space? My friend from the Herald turned to me and said, Has he gone crazy? Guys in ape skins? But then came that staggering moment, one of the great moments in screen history, when the bone thrown by one of the apes soars into the sky and in one extraordinary cut is replaced by a spacecraft. The whole of civilization reduced to one juxtaposition. I started to become excited. There was an intermission that came just before the main journey in space and everyone went out for a smoke, wondering where on earth, or space, the film would travel next. By the end, I would say the majority of the audience, including me, was a bit bewildered. I wrote the next day that it was often inexplicable, but that it was very gripping and quite an experience. Most of the original reviews were negative, including the one in the Herald. But of course, this was a movie that people went back to see again and again. I must have seen it a dozen times or more, including once on a giant screen in the Kremlin, when it was the American entry in the 1969 Moscow Film Festival. Apart from its innovative visual effects, the soaring imagination, and the sheer wonder of it all. It's a film that speaks to every new generation. It was ahead of its time, and the new 4K restoration is a great opportunity to see it where it absolutely must be seen, on the cinema screen. It's a five-star movie.